Welcome to What's Now, it's Christine Napier here to let you in on all of the cool trends in 2019 and coming up in 2020. In fact, we're going to talk about all of the best videos and music that 2019 had to offer, as well as some alarming data breach concerns for 2020 and an exciting new series. So at first, let's find out all of the cool music trends in 2019. This is Christine Napier from Park City Television, and we are discussing the year's top artists and tracks, musical trends, and streaming milestones. Today with Shannon Cook, who is a Spotify trends expert. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me on. So tell me about some of the 2019 trends. Sure. Well, how about I start with the most streamed artists of the year. Our, our top streamed artist for 2019 is Post Malone. This guy is one of the most um, talented songwriters out there. Every song he churns out basically becomes a hit. And his music has streamed more than six and a half billion times in 2019 alone, if you can get your head around that. Our second most streamed artist is um, Billie Eilish. Uh, her music has also streamed massively, more than six billion streams for her. She has the most streamed album of the year. She's only 17, I'd say she's doing pretty well. And our third most streamed artist of the year is Ariana Grande. She released an album in February called Thank You Next. And since then, listeners have just been streaming it continuously. It's been a massive hit. What about the top streamed song for 2019? Okay, well, the top song of the year is the very steamy duet, uh, Senorita uh, by Camila Cabello and Shawn Mendes. Uh, it, was, it was our top song in the summer, actually, and now it's our top song, song of the year. Our listeners really love this track. Uh, and then our number two song is Bad Guy by Billie Eilish, and our third most popular track for the year is one of my favorites, Sunflower by Post Malone and Sway Lee from the most recent Spider-Man film. They're all really great songs. <laughs> what about albums? Albums. Well, our top album of the year, um, as I mentioned before, it comes from Billie Eilish. And it has one of the best names for an album that you can imagine. Um, when We All Go to Sleep, Where Do We Go? I think I got that right. Uh, and she was just nominated for, um, oh, yeah, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? The album was just nominated in the top album category at the Grammys. Actually, she was the most nominated. Grammy artist, immensely popular album this year. She's done very well. And what are some of the trends that you're seeing with music this year? Well, we've seen that people are really into K-pop. K-pop is a genre that's definitely growing and spreading around the globe. And another thing that I found quite fascinating is that our younger listeners, while they also love the Billie Eilishes and the Post Malones and the Arianas, they also, they're really into the band Queen. Uh, you know, Queen released, the, there was this Queen biopic at the end of last year, and since then, younger listeners between the ages of 18 and 22 have been really diving into Queen's back catalogue. Uh, and that's been really exciting to see. And we've also seen some trends around um, podcasts. Spotify not just offers music. We also have podcasts. We have more than half a million podcasts now. And our audience for podcasts increased by more than 50% uh, since the start of the year. Uh, and the favorite genre of podcast at the moment is comedy. Looks like everyone's looking for some laughs this year. I think that is very true. What about <laughs> playlists? Well, our top playlist of um, the year, as in our most followed playlist, is uh, today's top hits. It's always our favorite, um, our, our most favorite playlist. Um, it's basically that. It's the top hits of today, it's, um, songs that are streaming the most with our listeners, songs that are really pop pop popping in all our playlists and doing well on our charts. Uh, and I listen to that playlist a lot because it keeps me up to date on what's current. Oh, I always enjoy looking back at 2019. It's really been a banner year for music, I, I would say. I think so, too. It's been a great music for female artists and a great music for pop. Often on Spotify, it's all about rap, but this year it's been more about pop, which I think is kind of cool. Yeah, that is. Any trends you're already seeing or hope to see in 2019? Um, well, one of the things that I always like to dig, dig into is like popular workout related trends because every year we see a different style of working out um, become popular. This year we saw some playlists being made around uh, a style of working out called Rage Yoga. I don't know if you've heard of this, but... I haven't. I'm going to look it up now. Well, apparently it's yoga, but you basically shout and get your anger out while, verbally while you're doing yoga. And we've actually seen some playlists 
for rage yoga popping up. So I'm always just looking out for the latest quirky workout <laughs> trend <laughs> popping up from our listeners. Well, that's exciting. Thank you so much, Shannon, for talking with us today, talking all about 2019 and looking forward to 2020 and all the music trends. <laughs> My pleasure. Thanks for having me.